Well, it was a race against time to save a farmer's life after he fell into a grain silo it was buried up to his neck. Tonight, Nick Barris with video from inside the urgent rescue operation in Lawrence County as those first responders work to pull the man to safety. These grain bin or silo accidents are terrifying and dangerous to work. Too often they end up with fatalities, but not this time thanks to the quick response time by highly trained first responders. Here you see those rescuers inside the grain bin working frantically to save a man's life. A farmer in Lawrence County found himself suddenly trapped in a huge mound of corn. Rescuers compare it to being caught in quicksand. It's a force that pulls you down and, um, you know, collapses on top of you at the same time and puts an immense amount of pressure on your body. First responders called to the scene used ropes to rappel down into the grain bin from above. Once inside, they found the man nearly buried completely in corn. Right, the initial call we got was he was um, buried to his neck. He was covered to just right below his mouth. Fate intervened. Another inch or two and the farmer would have suffocated to death. But he was conscious and breathing as crews here started installing something called a great wall device, hammering it down around his body to hold the loose corn back. Then a vacuum was used to begin removing the corn until the man could finally be freed. After that, he was removed through an emergency side access door on the bin incredibly unharmed. Considering so many of these incidents end badly, first responders were gratified by this result. They trained for these very rescues with equipment like this specialized grain bin rescue truck, often paid for by donations from the farmers themselves. In a business where we have a lot of losses, it's good to have a win. And um, I, I'm proud of everybody. It certainly took a team effort. Let me look at the list. Henryville and Lawrence County Fire, Etheridge Fire and Rescue, County EMS, the Sheriff's Office, and 911, just to name a few, all worked together to save a life. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Wow, thanks, Nick. And thanks to those first responders. By the way, the folks in Lawrence County have focused on training for this exact type of scenario after someone died just last year.